Hi Pisces and welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. Welcome to another reading. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. You are more than welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoy another reading. The readings are not time stamped, so whenever you come across this video, it is meant to be at that point in time. Um, if not, read it, leave it for somebody else because this is a collective reading, not a personal reading. If you'd like a personal reading, visit my website, newangeltarot.com. Let's get into your reading, Pisces. I'm using the Hermetic Tarot, which is a monochromatic deck. It's also um, in alignment with the Golden Dawn, so something a bit different, this uh, series. Let's get into it, Pisces, and see what your reading has to say. Angel Spirits Guides, Angel Spirits Guides. What does Pisces need to know? Thank you, Spirit. What does Pisces need to know? Thank you, Spirit. What does Pisces need to know? Thank you, Spirit. What does Pisces need to know? Thank you, Spirit. What does Pisces need to know? Thank you, Spirit. What does Pisces need to know? Okay, the first card that came out here is the High Priestess. I'm also going to do your reading in terms of your element. So your element is water, so I'm going to do an inverted pen, uh, triangle. You also have the Chariot, the Three of Pentacles. You have the Seven of Pentacles, and you also have the Princess of Cups. Final card in the bottom of the reading, you have the Ten of Wands. Bottom of the deck, which is your overarching energy, you have the King of Wands. Clarifying that. You have the Princess of Pentacles. Okay, so Earth Energy, um, overall you're wanting to reclaim your authority reclaim your independence um, and it's rooted here it's clarified here by this princess of pentacles so for me this is sort of um, about the home it's also about where you live um, and what that means to you whether it be you know getting your independence um, buying or selling a home something along these lines it's all about where you're living right now and what that means to you and how much power you can you know you have over that all right so the king of wands as i said is about authority and the princess of pentacles for me is about what's happening on earth you know re regaining not only a sense of power over your home environment but also your money and your health because pentacle energy is health and wealth so it's twofold let's look at the top row the top row so the top row here is High Priestess, the Chariot, and the Three of Pentacles. Um, this is you knowing that you're leaving the mother, okay? You're leaving um, a place of understanding and nurturing into the new world. The High Priestess is you yourself. It's ruled by the moon and you're a Pisces. And so the Pisces card in the tarot is the moon, but this is Isis. So it's the first card that's come out in your reading. Okay, Pisces are highly, highly psychic, highly intuitive. But to me, this is now time to listen to that voice, listen to your intuition. Know that, you know, you hold the key beyond the veil. You understand what you, where you need to be, where you really need to be. You know, not just sort of uh, putting up with something because, you know, you're just a nice person or you're trying not to hurt anybody's feelings or whatever that looks like. But here I see you leaving the mother. You're leaving the mother because you've got High Priestess and then the Chariot. And if you look at Kabbalah, you're leaving Binah going into Gabura. You're preparing for the war. You're preparing for the battle. You're preparing for life. Going out into the world, dealing with what you need to deal with. And the Chariot is also, you know, leaving home. It's, you've also got the Three of Pentacles here too, which for me is real estate. So this is why I'm feeling like you need to get a sense of authority within the home. You need to get a sense of independence back. 
whether or not it means then you leaving the home or whatever that might look like. But there needs to be a sense of authority here. So, and it's, yeah, it's following um, the next logical step, which is kind of like the little baby bird kind of leaving the nest. It's sort of the energy I'm getting here. The Seven of Pentacles is flanked by the Princess of Cups. So again, you know, this is about reassessing where you sit on an earth plane in terms of your sign. Princess of Cups is obviously a water energy. You're a water sign. But the Seven of Pentacles is reassessing, looking at your finances, looking at your career, looking at your job, whatever, that money that is coming in here, or perhaps receiving money from, as a, from a form of creativity. Some, something here that you're working on that involves your Piscean skill set. Um, again, could be artistry, could be psychic ability, could be anything here that you're putting your emotional self into, you're putting your soul into something. Whatever you're putting your soul in, make sure that you're getting what you deserve because now is the time to look at your money tree. You're looking at a space where you're thinking, mm, how much am I worth? What does my CV look like? How much savings do I have? You know, what does my super look like? You're looking at things financial. But you're also looking at things financially because you're putting your heart and soul into something that may need reassessing, okay? May need like, mm, maybe this is where I really need to be as opposed to staying in this dead-end job or hanging around with this, you know, person that's draining me of my funds. You could be in a relationship with somebody here who's also taking advantage of you. You know, um, you don't want that either. So... Princess of Cups is what's happening with you on the ground in terms of your health and wealth. In the foundation, you've got your Ten of Wands. This is you learning hard lessons. This is you finally getting to the finish line. You know, the race is almost over. You know, you're about to have a release. The Ten is like an excess point. It's breaking point. It's that point where you're like, I can't do this anymore. I've got to get this, you know, off my back. I have to start over. And I feel like if you make some decisions here about listening to your intuition and leaving the mother or leaving the home base or something here in regard to where you live or community, working with other people, could even be your job that you're leaving. But it's either leaving, you're either leaving home or leaving a job to follow your soul journey, to follow what brings you joy. Because what brings you joy is always going to bring you, um, you know, reward. The universe will repay you for following your heart, following where your true passions lie. Um, and, you know, money is important, but also money doesn't make you happy. If you're getting paid to do something you don't enjoy, it might be time to let that go. I'm also getting an energy here in the foundation of this King of, uh, Ten of Wands that you um, are carrying the load for other people. Oh, don't worry. You know, Jane Doe will do that. Oh, don't worry. Jane will pick up the extra hour or Jane will stay back or Jane will come in early tomorrow morning instead of you. What's with that? You know, you don't have to be that person anymore. Say no. Draw some, you know, boundaries here because I feel like you are starting to understand where you're truly valued, but change needs to occur. You need to listen to your higher self. You're downloading ISIS here. This is another sign for you to say okay I maybe I am really understanding where my path is heading now where I'm going in this chariot where is this chariot taking me overall you have the king of wands which is about power control sitting in fire sitting in a place of independence being number one clarified by the princess of pentacles which is your ability on earth to manifest health and wealth for yourself princesses sit in earth plane they're waiting for someone too so you also might be waiting for someone here who's a fire sign there could be a fire sign in your life that you're actually waiting for for them to take control of a situation as well you know if you're a female as well, you might be thinking, when is he actually going to get his act together? When is he actually going to, you know, take control of X, Y, Z, the situation, his job, his life, his past? Whatever that looks like to you, I think you're waiting for someone here that is you find very attractive as well. That could even be someone here who's um, 
Again, a fire sign could be Aries, could be Sagittarius, could be Leo. But either way, there's a fire sign here as well that I feel like you're waiting for them to also take control. So it's twofold. You're needing authority in your own life, but there's another message here for someone that, again, you're waiting for them to sort of get their act together. And this is all going to come together, I feel, when you actually, again, listen to your intuition here, take the lead, take control of the reins, the chariot, and some decisions about moving into someone else's home. And that's what this could be about as well. This could be about, you know, waiting for the opportunity to move in together with someone. Because Three of Pentacles for me is real estate. Okay, it's like waiting for that opportunity to finally go, are we going to do this now? Is this, you know, the time? Looking at that finances, weighing it all up. And also understanding that you're waiting here as well as a princess. You're waiting for in earth energy and you're also waiting on an emotional level. So you're waiting with health and wealth and you're also waiting here for your creativity and your emotional soul path. You know, something's got to give. Ten of Wands in your foundation, the levy is going to break. It's, that's eventually where you're at right now. The levy is, is at full capacity. The waters, the floodgates going to open real soon. So whenever that is, just make sure you're wearing a, what do they call it? A life coat, a life uh, jacket. All right. I hope you found this reading interesting. If you did and you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Um, and listen to your intuition, Pisces. You've got a lot going on in your world right now. Um, if someone isn't going to make up their mind, maybe then you need to make it up for them. So let me know in the comments if this resonates. Um, and if you'd like a private reading, check out my website, newangeltarot.com. Um, and I'm also touring, so you can check me out at events if you'd like to meet me in person. Um, just it's all on my website, newangeltarot.com. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now, Pisces.